Black Hat, uh, Will yeah. uh, had, got the shirt uh, for it. Yeah. What is yeah, it? Yeah. Uh, hey, I I went to Black Hat and all I got with this uh, was this silly black shirt. <laughs> right? Are you allowed to talk about anything? Uh, <laughs> yes, but then I'm going to have to uh, to kill you. No, I'm just joking. Um, no, it's an interesting show. You know, this year, no surprise, AI was a big theme, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, and XDR, you know, made made headlines as well. And you know, from my perspective, you know, RSA conference that is the perennial security conference in San Francisco. Um, Black Hat is no slouch. Um, but what what I really found with Black Hat that there were there weren't a ton of like really earth shattering announcements there. You know, a lot of the the requisite, you know, threat intelligent reports, there was a lot of discussion around ransomware and, you know, companies like Zscaler and, and Fortinet publishing these, uh, th these reports. But on the AI front, I found it interesting, you know, DARPA announced a, a two year contest and it's really to drive innovation around uh, around AI. And they're calling it their AI cyber challenge. And so this will run through 2025. I mean, two years in the tech industry is an eternity. Yeah. But um, I found it was interesting. You know, it's, it's funded by DARPA, uh, which is part of the Department of Defense. And, um, you know, I think we've talked about AI on you know, prior podcasts when it, when it comes to security. I mean, it can be a very effective tool for point solution providers and platform providers but it can be a double-edged sword and it can be used by bad actors, you know, to, to do all kinds of damage and that sort of thing. So, um, so that was interesting. And then from an XDR perspective, Cisco made some announcements. Cisco continues to build its momentum in security. And at the event, they announced some new recovery capabilities for uh, remediating ransomware. And so Cisco, from my perspective, continues to sort of uh, build um, upon um, its strength and security. And hey, you know, when you look at Cisco's last earnings, you know, I think we've got, you know, their earnings coming up, you know, and not the, the too distant future. Security is a big opportunity for Cisco to lean into and really drive some incremental revenue. But, um, and then finally, you know, there was some uh, announcements around cloud native application protect uh, protection and PAN, uh, Palo Alto Networks announced a CICD security module that sort of uh, enhances what, what they're doing there. So kind of a, a lot to choose from there. Um, I do plan to write a Forbes article, hope to post it next week, but that's sort of my take at a high level, Pat. That's great. I really appreciate that. And, you know, it is, it is wild how Black Hat kind of started and, and where it's become and uh, where we give money for bug bounties. We used to get, you know, used to just be bug bounties. Now we give money for security bounties and there's white hats and black hats mm -hmm. it's spy versus spy. I'm, I'm really interested to see how generative AI uh, changes uh, uh, all this uh, in the future.